This evening we're at a woodland called Frithwood, which is a really lovely big wood with lots of rides and it's really ideal for bat uh, surveying. Lima really allows you to get out and explore and see the woodlands in the day when you're looking at the plants and then come and experience night time. It no, it's low frequency that it's in the, the 20s. The people that I'm with tonight have just built up their knowledge over so many years so I feel really privileged to be able to pick up some of that. I'm taking down all the measurements so things like the forearm and um, the sex and the bat and the species and, and the weight. I've always wanted to be able to get involved in sessions like this bat trapping tonight so it's a real pri privilege to be able to join in. I've learned on Lima that there are several different ways to survey and it depends on the time of year and the objective of the survey. Um, so the stuff I've been doing with Sophie has been MVC quite detailed surveys. It's been really nice to, to go out with the other Lima trainees and sort of get a bit more insight into other types of work. But also surveying, it's nice to have another opinion and some of us know more than others. Okay. Just having a couple of weeks intensive surveying and training and looking at plants really sort of close up has been really helpful. Field botany is a, a kind of a thing of the past for some universities, but it's, it's really valuable to be doing that in the Lima placement. Mm -hmm. We're in Colwell Green today looking at the amazing array of Devil's Bit Scabious and Peter Garner, who's the Vice County Recorder for Herefordshire, um, is going to show me um, some more ID tips for the plants growing here. Traditionally we'd have lots of recording forms and we'd write everything down, the who, what, where, when of each species, but now we're just moving to a more integrated system where we can just record everything using an iPad, including photos and georeferencing systems, and it's just all on one system. I can see the value of it. I think it's very clever, amazing, but I need a little bit of practice, I think, perhaps in the closed season. And, and I'd need practice in being able to identify things in the first place. Today I'm taking a group of volunteers out to one of our reserves to do the last of the hay cut. It is quite challenging, especially taking out the volunteers. We've got um, lots of slopes, close quarters, so you're constantly just checking everyone's not too close together and people are, are happy working. You start literally where we can see the... Um, some Doing the Lima project has really helped me work on managing people and supervising other people. You can always unscrew the thing and move it along. And yeah, all the things like health and safety and risk assessments and all of that goes along with it. I think prospective Lima students just need to make sure they have a nice range of experience. Just take opportunities to volunteer wherever they can. Being a Lima requires a lot of enthusiasm for what you're doing, which isn't hard because it's such a great opportunity and you're really thrown in amongst all of the different activities. <laughs>